In this video, I'm in Allen, Texas, and we're going to discuss the pros and cons of living in this North Dallas suburb, so stay tuned. My name is Richard Soto, a local real estate broker with VIP Rule Team right here in the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex. And if you're new to the channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button as we do weekly videos talking all about living, working, and playing right here in North Texas. Today, I am in Allen, and we're going to discuss the pros and cons of living in this wonderful North Dallas suburb. Allen is only 25 miles north of downtown Dallas, it's the fourth largest city in Collin County, and it has the population of around 110,000. Allen is also known for its high national rankings in regards to education, crime, and quality of life. So if you're looking for a great suburb to call home, you might want to look into Allen, Texas. So we're gonna discuss the pros and cons, and as you already know, I like my cake first. So we're going to start with the pros. Okay, let's go ahead and start with the pros. As you can see, I'm at this outdoor shopping plaza. Waters Creek has a lot of restaurants, shopping. So let's take a look and see what this shopping center has to offer. A popular destination and one of my favorite places in Allen is Waters Creek. Waters Creek is a North Texas shopping and dining destination combining patio dining, shopping, luxury apartment, and offices in a lush outdoor setting. Okay, sticking with shopping, Allen is probably best known for the premium outlets that it has within the city limits. So if you're looking to save some money, get a great deal, whether it's on clothing, jewelry, supposedly the premium outlets are the place to do just that. However, I'm not sure how true that is. Within the shopping center, there's going to be over 120 different stores for you to choose from. There are designer and name brand outlet stores including Tory Burch, Cape Spade New York, Michael Kors, The North Face, Nike, my favorite, Ralph Lauren, and many others. Another great pro of living in Allen, Texas is going to be the numerous restaurants that you have access to. Within the city limits, you're looking at about 250 different restaurants, 50 which are unique to Allen, Texas. So if you're a foodie like myself, you'll have plenty of options right here in Allen. You don't need to travel to Dallas or Frisco for that matter. Plenty, plenty of dining options right here. Enjoy a meal with authentic Allen eateries like Allen Cafe, Italian Villa, or Big Ray's Barbecue. One of my favorite things to do is enjoy time spent on a patio. There's nothing better than sitting outside on a beautiful Texas day with a cocktail in hand and a fun, lively view beyond the patio. And Allen has some of the best patio spots to do just that. Another pro of living right here in Allen is going to be the low crime rate. So if safety is a top priority for you and your family, this is going to be a great city for you. Area Vibes recently gave Allen an A plus for its low crime rate and it's 53% lower than the national average. It was recently also recognized as the second safest city in Texas. So this is a great place where you can walk around your neighborhood or a shopping center like this and feel safe and secure. Another pro of living right here in Allen is going to be the outdoor recreation. Allen, Texas is known for its extensive hiking and nature trail system as well as its numerous recreational facilities. So if you enjoy the outdoors, have kids like myself, Allen is a great place to live in or at the very least visit. Residents enjoy the Joe Farmer Recreation Center. Golfing enthusiasts enjoy the numerous golf courses in the area including the Chase Oaks, Riverview Ranch and the Plantation Golf Clubs. Okay, moving on to the last pro, and in my opinion, the most important pro, and that's going to be the Allen Independent School District, which is outstanding. Niche.com has given it an A+, and several schools throughout the districts have been rated a 10 out of 10. So if you have kids like myself, this is going to be a great place. Education is a top priority for my family and I, so living in Allen would be a great place to call home. Wanted to bring you to their football stadium. It is ridiculous. This stadium is probably nicer, larger, better, has better equipment, training facilities than your favorite college team. Just see how vast 
this stadium is. It is ridiculous. I would have loved to have the opportunity to play in a stadium like this when I was in high school. And another thing about the Allen ISD, they only have one high school, so it is huge. And there's, I believe, a little bit over 5,000 students in the one high school. There are a total of 18 public schools in Allen. However, there's only one high school in Allen and over 5,300 enrolled high school students. The school is massive. While that can be looked as a con, there are so many positives to attending Allen High School. For instance, it's very diverse, which is a plus. It is almost like a mini college preparing young students with the college prep environment. With so many attendees at one school, the resources for the students are plentiful, which leads to more opportunities for the kids. The football team and athletic program is amazing. Only the best athletes will make the high school team, so if you're an average player, you might be on the bench. So whenever you're in Allen, you're going to want to visit Cromwell Cookie, one of the most popular destinations right here in the Allen area, especially for the kids. According to my BLE kids, this is the place for the best cookies. I guess it's gone viral on TikTok or something like that, I'm not sure. But if you love sweets, this is going to be a place to visit. The lines in the evening and weekends are literally out the door. So we're about to find out if these cookies are worth the hype. Okay, so these are the new ones that are going to be great. Yes, these are specialty flavors. So they change every week. The chocolate chip and our chilled sugar is the ones that are made. Okay, let's, yeah. let's grab one of each okay. of those. So you have four packs of our specialty pots. And then I'm going to also grab a classic sugar. Okay. Okay, I love the presentation and now for the uh, moment of truth. Let's see if uh, these specialty cookies are any good. I don't know. I'm going to try this. Quite honestly, I'm more of a chocolate chip, almond, pecan type guy. So I'm not too sure about these specialty cookies, but let's find out. Yes, very good. And I don't know what kind of cookie that is. It's a sugar cookie or whatever it's called. Very, very good. So definitely worth your wait in line. Okay, moving on to the first con right here in Allen, Texas. And that's going to be affordability. So if you're looking to put some money away or to save money on the cost of living, Allen isn't going to be the place. According to AreaVibes.com, Allen received an F for the cost of living. Overall costs such as groceries, healthcare utilities are 12% higher than the national average and housing is 30% higher than the national average. The median home price is around $400,000. While that sounds high, the residents in Allen enjoy the average income between $115,000 and $120,000. Moving on to the second con of living right here in Allen, Texas, and that's going to be walkability. We receive calls from all over the country, and a lot of our clients ask us that they prefer to live in a neighborhood where they can walk to the grocery store, coffee shop, and things like that, maybe the gym. However, if you're going to live in North Dallas or the DFW Metroplex, it's going to be extremely hard to live in an area that's very walkable unless maybe you're in uptown or downtown Dallas. The only walkability that you will have in a Dallas suburb such as Allen is going to be your neighborhood walking trails such as these. About to grab some lunch in between video takes. I am at the Blue Fish right here in Allen. This isn't my typical meal. As you can see, I'm gonna grab myself a bento box, some sushi, let you know how the food is once I finish. Okay, as you can see, I might have ordered a little bit too much for lunch. Once again, this is something that I typically wouldn't eat for lunch, especially. I'm more of a meat and potatoes, definitely Mexican food kind of guy. However, it was a nice change of pace, so I do recommend if you like sushi or Asian food, definitely come by the Bluefish. You'll be glad you did. So another con of living right here in Allen, Texas is going to be the lack of public transportation, or not even lack, there isn't any public transportation, unlike other cities such as Irving, Dallas, where you're able to catch the DART bus, maybe the DART train, and get around the city, you're unable to do that here in Allen, so you better have a reliable vehicle, and most importantly, 
or just as importantly, you better have a strong AC for those Texas hot summers. Okay, moving on to the last con, and as you can see from the map, we're out here. <laughs> I mean, we are out here, and depending on who you ask, most blogs will say that the location is ideal in Allen, Texas. Well, I'm here to give you the facts, and that is not the case. Really, well, let me rephrase that. Depending on your lifestyle, Allen, to me, is way too far north. So to me, it's a con. Now, if you work from home or you work in Frisco, Plano, you don't have to commute into downtown Dallas or especially into Tarrant County, it's not a big deal. But for someone like me who works in real estate and I have to be on both sides of the DFW Metroplex, it would be a massive con. If you travel for business and you have to get to the DFW International Airport, you know, it's going to be a haul. It's not the most convenient location by any means. I prefer to live centrally. However, you might not need to, but for the purposes of this video, location is going to be definitely a con. I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me in Allen, Texas today. If you're thinking about relocating throughout the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex or throughout the state of Texas, my team and I would love to assist you with your next real estate transaction. And as always, we'll see you on the next video.